I really got a mess going on here with my Skywalker. I've, uh, um, I've got all my electronics laid out here. I've got my fuselage glued together. I've got my motor mounted. Um, going with the Exceed RC Rocket is a 3015-1200 kV. It's about a 115 gram motor. Um, I'm using a 9x6 APC prop. I've got my horizontal stabilizer on. I've got my rudder mounted. Um, I haven't got the control rods hooked up yet, but um, I'm using a 40 amp speed controller up there. Um, let's see, I've got my camera here, my video receiver battery plugged into that, my Cyclops OSD, my GPS, the reset button, and um, this is my uh, current sensor. So it's kind of a mess right now and, and I've kind of taken a look inside the fuselage. It's going to be kind of a mess inside of the fuselage I guess. So there's a lot of wires running but I'm going to you know tidy them up the best I can. Oh, I've got my Corona 72 megahertz uh, receiver and my JR 10X radio. So yeah, I'm about ready to go. Okay, for FPV flying, I've got a little 13-inch uh, Craig monitor that seems to work really well. Um, it does do the blue screen, but it gets quite a bit of static before it completely cuts out. So I'm going to go ahead and try it, and uh, if I have any problems with it at all, I've got my um, RF modulator that will take care of all that. This is the OSD screen. And let's see, we've got the voltage right here for my video system. This is my power voltage right here. The milliamp draw currently, milliamp hours used so far. This is my uh, airspeed in miles per hour. This is my altitude in feet. This is uh, clearly the compass and my heading. This is my GPS sync. This is the distance from home, although it needs to be reset because it thinks I'm 83 feet away. And uh, this is my center point. This little line right here shows me my direction back to home. Um, I don't like this display. It's pretty crowded. So uh, let me see if I can switch it to the other display that I'm a little more uh, comfortable with. Okay, there's the current display. And I've got my radio here on this switch. And if I switch this switch down, it changes to this display. If I switch it again, it goes off. Switch it again, it goes back to that one. Switch it one more time, and it goes back to this. Um, I like this one better. It's a little bit cleaner. It's got the GPS. strength right up here satellite strength right there it's still got the return to home direction but on the bottom it puts my compass shows my home also here distance here and then on this side I've got my video voltage my power voltage uh, current draw and then how many milliamps I've used since the last reset and on this side over here it's got uh, feet per second which is how you know if it's gonna if it's positive you're going up so many feet per second if it's negative you're going down so many feet per second uh, miles per hour here altitude here and your time in the air right there so it's much cleaner uh, all the data is across the bottom and uh, so yeah I think that's gonna work better for me right there the other thing is if you're flying and it's got data on the top uh, you're flying and you got clouds in, in the sky it's very difficult I think to read the numbers so if everything's down on the bottom usually that's going to be your darker area of your screen so it's a little bit easier to read so um, yeah I got everything hooked up and ready to go um, so hopefully we'll be flying here pretty soon